Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Samurai Warriors. I'm your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 31. We're not even at the halfway mark yet. Gosh, this is going to be a long LP, but I look forward to it. Now, last time, I believe we finished off all of the minigames, including a failed attempt at beating Lu Bu. And once again, I apologize for that very unusual desync at the beginning of episode 29. I don't know why. So the popular vote says this time we play as Nobunaga Oda, and this time it seems that Keiji is the lucky officer. Now I've reset him, and now I played through the first few battles, and here's the really weird thing: the Battle of Ice, or Isle, or I forgot how to pronounce it. It's just been so long. It's actually harder to go down the bad path than it is to go down the good path, which is the lower and upper paths, respectively. Um, basically, I'm supposed to... Ah, oh, pardon me. Oh, my, sorry, a little yawn there. Basically, I'm supposed to not kill a bunch of pilgrims and let them run away. But this takes so long, and it is so easy to just lose your temper and say, fuck it, I'm going to kill them all, or even worse, for this particular mission, you will suffer defeat if you are defeated or if every other officer on the field except you is defeated. And when the pilgrims retreat, they don't retreat. Instead, they, for some idiotic reason, choose to start fighting against your officers. So if you sit down and do nothing, yeah. So the plan is, today I will play the Battle of Okehazuma and the Battle of Ice. Oh, that was completely wrong. <laughs> and uh, then tomorrow we will move on to the Battle of Nagashino on the bad path, the defense of Gifu Castle, and the Battle of Yamazaki. Only this time, on these three stages, we will be playing as Nobunaga's alternate costume with the Japanese voice acting. So, let's begin. Now, like I said before, a lot of characters share the same opening cutscene. You've seen this one before. No need to see it again. So, first things first, weaponry. Ah, that is his fifth weapon, the, Oro the Orochi. Very powerful. Then he has the Muramasa, which is his fourth weapon. And the Kumogiri, which is his first weapon. Oddly enough, that was just in my inventory. I didn't have to go through and uh, find it again. So, yes, that's what we'll be using. Power Bracer. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Don't really need the heightened defense, so we'll go on ahead and swap it out for the Kage Scroll. I don't need the Muza Stone, because we're going to swap that out for the Warrior Stale, so my bodyguards actually do well. And then, here, the Tengu Sandals. I'm actually going to swap out the Matsukaze Saddle for the saddle. The reason being that, in every mission in which you have fought against Nobunaka, he's always been on horseback, so it's only fair that he starts out on horseback. And then finally, the bodyguard unit will be the ladies. Oh yes. And this will be your last run. On the next playthrough, I will make a new bodyguard unit. Who the names will be, I have no idea. But that is a question for two weeks from now, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, I think we are good to go. So it's a pretty simple one. We're probably not even going to kill all the officers, so we're probably going to go for the quick kill on this one. And the next one, too. Very likely. This rain has turned this earth into a marsh. If the enemy's march can be slowed down, we may be able to ambush them. Well, they would have given me a horse anyways, but this horse is this horse is better. Now I'm also resisting the extremely high temptation of starting Valkyria Chronicles now. I want to so much, but I'm gonna hold back and I'm gonna wait until next week, like I said. Now, attacking them is as simple as just beating up on this defense captain. You don't actually need to get in. 
Now, the weird thing about Nobunaga, I don't know why, is that all his weapons are shrouded in this purple aura. And because all of his swords are very similar in appearance, and because of the purple aura, there's really no difference between them. I mean, like, a better weapon might have a darker aura, but that's about it, really. Nothing too special or out of the ordinary. Alright, now that we've got this, I'm gonna go on ahead and just run in here and kill this guy. Ow. Right. And now he's dead. Unfortunately, Nobunaga has one of the silliest Muzao modes, Muza modes I've ever seen. He just starts flying forward. And while it looks great if you're gonna fly in a straight line, it's actually pretty worthless. Believe it or not. For the simple fact that it's hard to control. So really it's better to just tap the Muza button and then use the super powered charge to attack. Alright, so I gotta kill all these guys out here, including the enemy officer. Wait till I get powered up more. Because this is gonna be more of the same. Just pink, pink, pink. That's all it is. Oh, get up. Who's left? You three? You two? Ah, you have got to go. I should have left that for Seijutsu. Sorry! That's not my horse. This is my horse. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not, not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning just because it's been a long day and I, I'm a bit tired. Now. We found Yoshimoto's camp. Really? The enemy's not on their guard. They're completely aloof. Now, at this point... They must be reminded of our superiority! And I'll make a pause here. At this point, we could either A, proceed into the camp and kill Yoshimoto for a quick kill, or B, we could actually uh, follow some of the missions, which include making Ieyasu defect, eliminating all enemy officers, yada yada yada. This is one of the times where you can actually go for the quick kill if you want. So I could dodge into camp and do a very quick kill, or at least start the sneak attack and then leave. Or, uh, you know what, I will, because I need experience. So I'll start the sneak attack, and then I'll concentrate on all the other missions. Ah, Torihanzo is here. Hi, Hanzo. How you doing? Accept your fate. I don't wanna. That was nice. There is no advantage in fighting. You will yield. All too easy. So at this point, uh, instead of actually starting the sneak attack, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, do what they want me to do, which should be to persuade Ieyasu to defect. Hello, no. But before we can do that, we've got to get rid of Tadakatsu, who fortunately is not as big a challenge as one might think. Uh, oh, I can't run down there. So good. Wait, where's? Are you sure that blade isn't meant for me? Oh, cause I got 50 kills. Ha, oh, Ieyasu! You're not a Ieyasu. You're Tadakatsu. No, you're Ieyasu. The guy I just saw on screen is Tadakatsu. 
just the blades of my tumbogiri. But that's not a tumbogiri. At least not in the game. The game doesn't officially call it a tumbogiri. And so, like Lubu, Tadakatsu has his own theme music, which pretty much solidifies him as the badass of this game. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, motherfucker! No, I don't care about you, but... Don't really need you superpowering up, because you'll just get in the way. Ieyasu, get out of the way. Oh, did I get Tadakatsu? I think I did. Yep, there he goes. Stop hitting me with that spear before I ram it up your ass. Now where's my horse? Fuck off. Future of the Tokugawa. Oh, now he's on our side. All right. It's time to finish this mission off. Start the sneak attack and then see what they have to do. Have for us to do. I might just go for the quick kill and finish off Ieyasu instead of uh, killing every enemy officer. Because if I remember correctly, in history, Ieyasu, not Ieyasu, Nobunaga wasn't quite that vicious. I don't think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure off the top of my head. For some reason, I thought there was an officer over here. Strange. Quick question here. Nobunaga, Hidetaka, Nobumori, Hideyoshi is still in the fort. Why are you still in the fort? You're supposed to be helping me! Well, it's fine, I'll do it myself. Hi there. Aw, oh, damn. I want this to be a good fight. You are not capable of giving me a good fight, no matter what you say. Yes, some of them are retreating, but not all. Yes, I could go about eliminating all the officers, or... Yeah! Unfortunately, that's not very powerful. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the quick kill and finish him off. Not for this rain. It seems the heavens also sought your death. One day, you'll suffer the same fate as I. Uh, uh. Not so. So I could have gone off after the other officers, but yeah, it's okay. I think I did plenty good. There's the Kumugiri again, but you know what? The one I have is better. Serpent Bracer, don't really need it. You guys did not go up a level, but you were at level 6, so you did pretty good anyway. Oh, I'm an upstart now. How lovely. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, points, 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 got 200 points, what to spend them on? Life increases easier, moves out gauge, fills up faster, not really worried about that. Charge attack power increases, that would be nice. Better EXP ratings after, that would actually be perfect. Anything else I can get in the meantime? Healing items have more of an effect. Alright then, acclaim it is. Because more EXP means <laughs> I can level up and get better points faster. Oh, uh, no, 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 looking pretty good. Yes, I will happily save my progress. Thank you.
You know what? Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah, I'll stick with the... I was thinking about changing his costume over and then uh, switching him to the Japanese voice, but you know what? I'll wait till tomorrow on that. And I'm going to be bluntly honest here, I really don't like Nobunaga's costumes. Either of his costumes. They both look ridiculous to me. And, I mean, I can see the appeal of wearing the all-black armor and the blood-red cape to look imposing. And I'm sure it does the job very well, but it just looks... I don't know. It looks okay. His other costume is even less imposing, so... Mm. Yes, we've been here before. All fortresses in this area will be drowned in a sea of fire. First, we must attack the fortresses closest to us. The coastal units will bombard the fortresses with cannon fire. Now, truth be known, you really only need to eliminate two of the green dots. With the exception of the cannon fire mission, there is only one... Uh, with the exception of the cannon fire, all of these missions will be labeled as green, i.e. important. Uh, you know what? I am actually going to go and take care of the one in the west first, because I can take care of the south and eastern ones during my next objectives anyway. So, that takes care of that. Make sure I'm going the right way, because... With lots of red and blue and white dots that make me think I'm going the right way when I'm not. Wait, I can go that way. Herp derp. Just herping and derping. Just herping and derping. Hi guys, how you doing? Slash. Ow! Oh, well, that works too. I was hoping for the big leap. Where are you? Oh, there you are. And you're dead. Do not falter. We can still win. All right, now we have the upper hand. Hideyoshi, go to the central fortress and set it aflame. All others, protect the last. And by all others, he means himself, since I am the one in control. I'm just going ahead and just ram down these guys on the way here, because Hideyoshi has to come this way anyways. Cannon unit will be fine. It can protect itself. Okay, Hideyoshi, let's go. I'd rather be sure that you're safe and sound before going off anywhere else. Let's see, now I know you're gonna cross this bridge, aren't you? We'll have to deal with these guys. Or not. Hideyoshi! Let's go! You don't have to fight everyone. Don't do like Yukimura. Please don't do like Yukimura did. What are you doing? Why are you backtracking? This way. This is the way forward. Hideyoshi! Come on, dude. Seriously. The last time you went all by yourself and you were fine. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm getting off the horse to kick your ass. 
Alright, can we go now, Hideyoshi, please? You don't have to fight everyone. You don't have to fight them all. Well, I expected that. Alright, you're off on that tangent. You got this. I'm gonna go get my horse. Okay, you followed me. Apparently I have to babysit walk you all the way there. Now light the damn fortress on fire. Have to prepare for the worst. Come on. If faith is what prevents you from death, <clears throat> I shall sever that faith from your bodies. Alright, now like I said before, uh, since trying to complete the this mission poorly takes so damn long, I'm just not going to play this mission incorrectly. completely eliminated. There's no point in resisting any further. Maybe it's time to ask Nobunaga for forgiveness. Lord Nobunaga, we surrender. I ask you to show mercy and spare the lives of my men. Surrender? What folly. Yep, now we get to go and beat up the enemy commander. What, really? Can't understand. Well, you know what? That was the one mission I could actually afford to lose. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I cannot wait to get a bigger knees out gauge. You too, sir. Okay, I want to turn the camera forward. Yeah. Really? Fuck you, dude. We better All right, get a move on commander too. is down. We can get out of here. First things first. After them, they must not escape. Yep, we gotta defeat them all. Did I get you? Well, consider it a warning shot. Next time I won't miss. Considering the inaccuracy of the musket, it's a miracle you get him to begin with. Although, Thanks, but yeah. I couldn't finish him off. So basically, the thing that Nobunaga did where he was pointing at is that he was basically telling Nobunaga, you should have been aiming here, not for my chest. All too easy. Alright, he's out of here. Let me go get my horse. And route these fools. The best thing to do is to try and get the ones in the west first, and then head for the southwest where Ranmaru is. The reason being... Is that they're all gonna try and head? They're all gonna try and get past Ron Maru to escape. See how they're heading there now. We can still win. So looks like um, if I can get that one northern one, I'll be good. Well, I can swing by and catch this one. 
Hello, Mr. Pilgrim. I don't understand. There must be a better way. I'm sure there is. Lord Mitsuhide. Ah, I gotta hurry. Well, if his morale is dropping, that means he's in trouble. Okay, I don't want to risk losing him, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down there and hit give him a hand. Kill those three before they overwhelm him. And then I'll finish off the guy in the north. And I think the one off to the east got away. Okay, buddy. I am here to help you. Where did you go? There can only be so many characters on screen at once, but there's a lot more around us. If this were like Dynasty Warrior 7, you would see everybody. And if you can't see them in this game, then you can't hurt them, even if they're right fucking in front of you. And it's only really a problem at times like this. Okay, I think... I think I got them. It should only be this one over here, and then I can head north. And I'll head up there, and I'll help catch you. Oh, that's the EA. There's my horse. There's my horse. It's not an amazing horse, but it's still my horse. It's a pity the double attack is going to wear off before I get up there, but them's the brakes, right? Yep, there it goes. Captain. Okay. Ah, you got your hands full up here, son. Well, I'll help you. That was actually almost good. And that takes care of all the rebels. I think only one unit managed to get away. Yes, all of Nobunaga's victory lines are one-liners. Hell, they're one-worders. He'll say things like, worthless, hopeless, and I think he says one other, but I forget what it is. Again, it's another one-liner. It's easily forgotten. Now, let me look here and see if anyone did get away. Let's see here. There's that one off to the east. No. No. Nope, they, none of them got away. None of them got away, I think. Aside from that, no, that one was... You know what? I got almost all of them. I'm good. I'm not, I'm not upset. Ah, the Hasabi, which is, his, which is his third weapon. So we just skip the second weapon altogether. I'll take it. Horse defense, whatever. It has more power. Ooh, it's got fire! I like fire! Vixen Tail Demon Staff. Bah. You didn't level up again. Or did you level up last time and I just wasn't t paying attention? Whatever. I'm a fiend now. I'm happy. Points! How many did I get? A whole lot more than last time. Alright. Life max increases easy. Don't care about that. Cavalier charge attack power increases. I want that. Easy mastery. What I want is where is it? Counterattack may occur. Speed doubles. Oh come on, where is it? Maybe it's under might. Reach deadlock attack bonus. That's what I need. I need more attack and speed before that can even become available. Oh shoot. That's okay. Don't care for finding better items. What I do want is this domino would also like uh let's see I want the down slash and oh why not the rampage we're done all right that is it for this episode folks i'm trying my best to keep cut down the time here next time 
Pokemon. We will move down to the Battle of Nakashino, the Bad Path. Until next time, folks.